Good morning guys, it's Mike Chen here in London and I am so excited for what I'm about to eat right now. I'm at the Nobu Hotel for their famous weekend brunch and this thing gets booked out weeks ahead of time. It's one of, if not the most popular all you can eat brunch spots in all of London. And brunch without drinks is 80 pounds, with drinks is 120. You get starters on the table, as soon as you sit down you get edamame, you get shishito peppers, miso soup. Of course there's a buffet bar and you get one main dish, Matsuhisa Benedict or scrambled egg dambori, cauliflower with jalapeno salsa, salmon filet, chicken skewer, beef skewer, or black cod miso, which is their specialty. I'm definitely getting that. And before getting started with the food, just want to give a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN is one of the only apps on my phone, my laptop that I keep running all the time. And if you're not utilizing a VPN service right now, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do. Nowadays, everyone's personal information is online and there's so many people trying to gain access to it from data aggregators trying to obtain your personal info to sell to marketing companies or people trying to gain access to your email your social media so what a VPN is it's a virtual private network and what Surfshark VPN does is that it encrypts and secures your personal information before it goes over the internet so people who you don't want having access to your private info they're not gonna have access to it Surfshark also has something called Surfshark alerts so when someone's trying to gain access to something like your email you will be notified right away also if you love TVs movie shows, you want to see what Netflix catalogs look like in a different country, you can use Surfshark VPN to change your location to a different country and gain access to their Netflix movies and TV shows. Or vice versa, if you're traveling abroad and you don't want to miss out on your favorite TV show or movie on a US streaming service, you can change your location back to the US, giving you access to all the US streaming services. And also, a lot of major US websites don't even function correctly when you're trying to access it from abroad. Again, with Surfshark running in the background, so it's a great help when you want to do things like pay your bills. So if you want to give it a try, go to my link down below. Use my promo code Mikey Chen. You'll get 83% off plus three additional months for free and try it out for 30 days. If you don't like it for any reason, get your money back. And all this for less than a cup of coffee a day. Let's go check out the buffet. Buffet looks really good. Tons of sashimi, sushi, seafood dishes. Everything looks so beautiful. Itadakimasu. First of all, roasted miso shishito peppers. Oh my gosh, so good. Sweet umami filled miso on top of perfectly roasted peppers and a dash of roasted sesame. Miso soup. Oh, it's really good. Edamame with flaky salt. Famous Nobu Miso Cod. This thing will take your breath away every single time you eat it. The first time I had this was in Las Vegas. This thing is just mind blowingly good. Mm. This is the most succulent, juicy piece of fish. Perfectly roasted, so it's got that nice smoky flavor. The miso flavor is just outrageous. Sweet and deep. It gives the cob just the most perfect golden caramelization on the outside. The meat is good. I love, love the skin with a gorgeous char flavor. A little crunch. Man, it's just melting in the mouth. I mean, the skin is the most flavorful part. So good. So, got a salmon taco, tuna taco, and this is their most famous dish. This is called the crispy rice, and there's three things to put on top of it. One is the salmon, one is eggplant, and the last one is the tuna. So you just take this thing, put it in your mouth. Mm. That was utter textual perfection. To say the tuna melted in my mouth would be insulting it. That thing just evaporated, leaving a subtle sweet creaminess, which harmonizes perfectly with the toastiness of the rice. Crispy rice eggplant. Mmm. Mmm. Creamy eggplant with a nice vinegary kick. Again, the creaminess and the crispy rice texture. I mean, that is a match made in food heaven. I'm so excited for this. The salmon, I think it's gonna be nice and fatty. Mm. Mm hmm. That's a fatty, crispy, creamy bite. That tastes exactly 
like what you would get at a noble restaurant. Except now, eat as much as you want. Tuna taco. Melt in your mouth tuna with a subtle sweetness and additional added fragrance from the herbs. Also, I just looked at the menu. Five crispy rice, we're running about 25 pounds. I think that makes it taste even better. And this little beanie taco, it's about seven pounds. This is the salmon taco. I think I pretty much ate my money's worth at this buffet already. I'm just getting started. Oh, by the way, that salmon piece. Sweet, fatty. I think I like salmon more than tuna. Fatty flavor, just hypnotic. So they call this new style of salmon and new style beef. Mm. It tastes a little bit cooked. Again, great smoky flavor infusing that piece of salmon. New style beef. Mm. Slightly seared, so tender with a little bit of ginger. Also, a little bowl of ceviche. Mm. Tuna and salmon inside, some cucumbers. Also some sea bass. Mm. A vinegary and refreshing. This is a Masuhisa Benedict. So this is a snow crab Benedict with some salmon roll on top, sitting on some spinach and a shiso bernet sauce. Mm. This is just the richest, creamiest egg Benedict. I love the crunch from the spinach, the pop from the salmon roll. Hmm, maybe I'm wrong. I really don't taste any crab in here. Maybe it's just a Yukura Benedict. It's still good. This is really interesting. Red bell pepper nigiri. That's freaking excellent. Wow. Yeah, I want more of those. Bell pepper is really crunchy and smoky. It tastes like it's pickled. That goes really well with the sushi rice. A little wasabi on there too. This is another um, vegetable nigiri. This is the shiitake. Mmm, earthy, snappy mushroom. Also, I just wanna say, the sushi rice is excellent. Very scrumptious with a delightful vinegary flavor. Tempura roll. Mm. All these rolls that I'm eating, I mean, they all just melt. The rice is so scrumptious and light. Mm. Spicy tuna is just the greatest thing here. They're some of the most delicious rolls I've ever had. I never really ate any Nobu before, except that one time in Las Vegas, I got it to go. I know there's a lot of hype surrounding it. I can attest, it does taste ridiculously good. Mm. The octopus is magical. It's magical. Snappy and light with that great natural sweetness. And I think it tastes even better knowing that all this stuff is pretty pricey on a regular menu, and now it's all you can eat. This might be the buffet that's the easiest to achieve value for money out of all the ones I've been to. Poke Bowl's delicious too. It's not a big buffet, but you are getting a lot of the star items on the Nobu menu. I mean, just the miso caught, it's 50 pounds. All right, I gotta go back for some more crispy rice. That's the best thing on there. They also have some salads as well, some crispy mushroom salad. Mm. Sesame salad is awesome. This is a new style tomato. Sweet and tart, very sesame. Got more of the crispy rice salmon. And the new style salmon. I think these are all my favorites. Everything here is just incredibly fresh and outrageously delicious. Dessert time, and the desserts look fabulous. Look how beautiful this cheesecake is. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this thing is so light, holy moly. My spoon sliced through that like it was slicing through a cloud. And that's exactly what it tastes like. Fluffy, delicious, wonderfully creamy, cheesy cloud. That's one of the best cheesecakes ever, ever. It's just incredibly light with a little crunch on the bottom. Mm. It's so cheesy and fruity. I'm getting another one of these. It's amazing. This is a miso brownie. Mm. Mm. That's a really great combination of flavors. Very rich and decadent. And you got that sweet fermenty flavor of the miso with that chocolate. This is a pink pavlova. Oh, jeez. Are you kidding me with this thing? Oh my gosh. 
it's like eating air. Like delicious, fruity, creamy air. Yeah, maybe 10 more of these too. They also have a bouncy marshmallow. Huh. There's straight coconuts on the outside. This is a yuzu baba. And a baba is a yeast cake. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I think the only other time I've had this was with rum. But look at this, soaked with yuzu juice. Mm. It's moist, it's sweet, it's citrusy, and the cream's got an even more intense hit of yuzu flavor. Wow, this is good. This is a chocolate slash exotic fruit mousse. Mm. Oh, this is freaking crazy. What? Awesome, sweet. Yeah, bitter flavor from the chocolate mousse. I mean, this is dark, dark chocolate. And the bitter flavor is offset by the creamy fruit mousse. I think I taste some passion fruit in here. Among others, this is absolute love in a jar. And inside this glass here, yogurt mousse with berries. This is good. Tastes like yogurty whipped cream with fruit jam on top. This one is beautiful. Little teacup of matcha panna cotta. Mm. Rich, very creamy. Look at that really nice bitter flavor from the green tea. Perfect balance between that and the sweetness. Next is hazelnut mousse. Mm. Very, very caramelly. Nice crunch on the surface. It was definitely a smart move to save this for last. Definitely the sweetest of all the desserts. I've been wanting to come to this buffet ever since hearing about it. And this thing, even though it's 80 pounds, about 100 US dollars, it's so easy to eat your money's worth. Like I said, you get a one main item, just get the cod, that's 50 pounds already. And that buffet is pretty much entirely seafood. Tuna smells in your mouth, the salmon is so fatty and nice. Not a single bad bite on that buffet. Also, everybody working here is so nice. You walk away, come back, your napkins folded, the whole experience and atmosphere, it's just delightful. This place is definitely quality over quantity. The dessert items will blow your mind. If you are ever in London, if you're planning on coming to London, like I said, this place gets booked out weeks ahead of time. Get a reservation, come check this place out. Finally stopped by and was able to line up and grab a humble crumble. This thing is the dessert to try out right now here in London. On the bottom is a layer of shortbread crumble. On top, you can get custard, either hot or cold. I got cold, I should've got hot, a lot of people got hot. In the middle, there's fruit, um, I got apple cinnamon, and on the very top, they put a creme brulee top with some pavlova. This is a very, very sweet dessert item. The custard is really rich and creamy. Shortbread crumble, obviously, very crumbly. Also crispy and buttery. I finally got some of the fruit out. Mmm, the apple is nice and juicy. So besides the apple, I got some peach and mint. My mint just gives this a refreshing burst. Definitely cuts down on the richness of this crumble. I mean, this is such a unique dessert item. It's crumbly and creamy, very decadent and rich with a refreshing burst from the fruit. This almost tastes like the turducken of desserts. Layer upon layer, texture upon texture. Definitely not something I can eat all the time. Every once in a while, uniquely satisfying. Walked around a bit, I think I finally walked off the crumble and now going to a really interesting place. Since it is Sunday and pretty much every Sunday I've been in the UK, I've had a Sunday roast. But this place I'm going to is a Danish steakhouse that offers an all you can eat Sunday roast with a Danish twist. Let's go check it out. They offer a 30 pound all you can eat Sunday roast menu. When you sit down, um, bread comes to the table, that's always welcome. And this looks awesome. Looks like focaccia bread with their homemade butter. Whoa, piping hot, beautifully toasty. This thing looks amazing. Dunk it into the butter. Oh my God, this is the most wonderful bread ever. I know I'm here for a Sunday roast, but holy crap, that's amazing. This bread is so good so toasty on the outside and inside is soft and fluffy and this mayonnaise is delicious a little peppery a little vinegary of course so buttery
This is the roast cooked to a perfect medium rare and looks absolutely delicious. Look how juicy this thing is. Oh, wow. So this is a tri-tip and look at that. This smells so ridiculous. Mm. This is a delicious piece of roast. This is about as tender as a tri-tip can be. And tri-tip doesn't really have a lot of fat, but this thing, it's just bursting with juice. Beautiful, clean, beefy flavor. Succulent and tender. You get a nice crunch from the flaky salt. Hmm. Did you give you some Bernay sauce? Although, I don't really think it, it even really needs it. So, but dip it in some Bernay sauce. Mm. Sauce is creamy, herby, adds another dimension of flavor to the beef. Mm. They, and they serve this with a basket of chips and salad. Chips are so awesome. Crispy, herby on the outside, inside fluffy and soft. Oh my God. Piping hot as well. Mm. This is a delicious Sunday roast. Also, they bring out extra flaky salt. I really like the crunchiness of the salt. So on top of the Sunday roast, I really wanted to try out some of their other steaks and sides because this place has some really unique items. So I got their Kud Experience, which is a plate of three different steaks, A4 Japanese Wagyu, strip loin from the UK, and a Uruguay sirloin. Three different cuts from three different parts of the world, all cooked medium rare. Also got some sides, cucumber salad. These are corn ribs with spices and garlic miso butter. Some mashed potatoes with bacon on top. And the bacon is sauteed in Wagyu fat. I also got three different types of sauces. Their signature pork sauce, the peppercorn sauce, and the Bernay sauce. And I gotta say, the steak looks beautiful. Start out with a piece of filet from Uruguay. Cooked to absolute perfection. Glisteningly beautiful. Mm. Pretty much melts in your mouth. The filets are not fatty cuts. And you can see all the juice oozing out from the meat. So dip the meat into the cura puree. Mm. A little creaminess and sweetness from the cura puree. Oh, that is so nice. Add some of the peppercorn sauce. That's a really nummy, delicious peppercorn sauce. Steak is masterfully done. Perfect sear to trap in all that delicious juice. Beautifully smoky as well. Also, really want to try this out. Mashed potato with bacon sauteed and Wagyu fat. This smells incredible. You smell the caramelized onions and all that bacon. Mm. If you ever come here, you gotta get this. This is the greatest potato to have ever been mashed. I love this so much. The bacon on top, there's a bunch of fatty pieces and they all have a beautiful crispy outer layer. So when you bite into it, you get that slight subtle porky crunch and then the floodgates open and all that fat and juice just covers your taste buds. Mixing together with that creamy, velvety mashed potato. It's like covering your taste buds with this umami-filled velvety blanket. Next up, the UK strip loin. Mm. It's tender, like a filet, but also incredibly juicy, just like a ribeye. Mm. And chase it with some of the best mashed potatoes ever. And this cut just offers way more juice. And if you do want to do a bit of palate cleansing, cucumber salad. Next, I want to try this rib of corn. Deep fried, covered in, I think, breadcrumbs. Oh, this is so good. Sweetest, juiciest ear of corn. Fried with a little bit of, I think, breadcrumbs on top. And different spices and a little bit of herbs. I think it's sweet, savory, tons of flavor. Finally, I'm so excited for this. A4 Japanese Wagyu. This one, the marbling is just staring me in the face. Perfect sear on the outside. Look at all that glistening fat. Oh my gosh. Absolute beef butter that just melts delicately on your tongue. 
barely need to chew it. I love A5 Wagyu, but sometimes it does get a bit too rich. A4 has the perfect combination of marble fat and lean beefy meat. So this is gonna have a much bigger beefy flavor than the A5 Wagyu will. I mean, for this cut, really don't need anything else. A little bit of salt, put this in your mouth and just feel that experience. Not so crazy. That's so beefy. I'll tell you guys right now, this place, they know how to cook up a good piece of steak. Everything I have, from the all-you-can-eat roast to the steak sampler, all beautifully tender, rich, and smoky. The sides are marvelous. The sauce is delicious. Also, I love flaky salt with my steak. Oh yeah, and the mashed potato. Best thing ever. This has definitely been one of the best steak experiences I've had in London. Come here, try it out, get the mashed potatoes. I think you'll love it. And finally, this of course is a Danish steakhouse, a Danish traditional dessert. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this because grød, grød med fløde. <laughs> I can't. So this is a traditional Danish dessert. So this is typically made with strawberries that smashed up, I think, into a puree. And then usually there's no ice cream, but here they added some ice cream, also some cookie crumble. Looks beautiful. Mmm, it's so refreshing. The strawberry sweet and tart, crispy bits of crumble. It's creamy, it's fruity. Overall, just refreshingly delicious. This has been an outstanding food day. Started out with a Nobu buffet. That's a buffet I never thought would ever exist. And ended this Sunday with a Danish Sunday roast. And that concludes an amazing food day here in London. As always, all places I went to listed down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.